let me know down below if you've read any of these videos read any of these videos okay It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with another on haul video. I actually have a, quite a few books this time around so without further ado let us get started. I'm gonna start off with like samplers that I got because like you know it's easy. I got Supernova by Marissa Meyer and Rebel by Marie Lu. I read them. I don't need them on my shelf you know so they're going away. I don't really know if I should send them to the thrift store because like they're samplers you know so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. The next book that I have is a short story by Karen Slaughter. It is Blonde Hair, Blue Eyes. This is like the prequel to Pretty Girls. I never read Pretty Girls. I own it but never read it so I feel like I would have liked this a lot more if I had read Pretty Girls first because I wasn't connected to the character in the book because I didn't know anything about her and it was obvious that like you needed to know who she was to better enjoy this story so I give it a three out of five stars and the rule is if you give something three or lower on this channel it goes to the thrift store so that's where it's headed. The next book I did not enjoy at all it is Strike the Poser by Dylan Edward Asher. I think I gave it a 2.5. It's also signed which is cool but this is one that I won off of Goodreads years ago and I read it during Cramathon I think to like try to bump up my Goodreads goal but uh, yeah it was not it was not good so. The next book that I have I'm really upset about because I'm obsessed with this cover but it's Mistress of All Evil. I believe it's by like Serena Valentino or something like that. Yeah Serena Valentino which it doesn't say like her name on the cover which I find weird but I love this cover. Maleficent the movie comes out in like today, actually October 18th when I'm filming this. So I'm really excited about that movie. So I really wanted to love this. I thought they were books that you could read as standalones. Like I knew that it was part of a series, but I didn't think that they were actually connected. So I guess I kind of thought they were companion novels. They're not, they're connected. So it mentioned a lot from like the first, second, and third books. So I was kind of lost on that aspect of it. But I mean, it was fun for what it was, but I think I gave it a three. So, off to the thrift store. The next book that I have, I actually received two copies of, so I'm getting rid of the duplicate copy of it, but it is Cold Falling White by G.S. Prendergast. This is actually the second book in a series, and I was sent both of those books, which is great because I had a copy of this one from Indigo and I didn't know that it was part of a series so now that I know I can actually read the series and hopefully enjoy it. It says that it's like a mixture of the fifth wave and the Beauty and the Beast which I find intriguing and very confusing so I'm interested. I'm very excited to pick it up when I finally get the time to do so. Next book I'm very bummed about because I really wanted to like it but I only gave it a three out of five stars is Permanent Record by Mary H. Choi. I did not like the main character in this book so I didn't rate it any higher than a three. That's pretty much my only explanation for this one. Next two books are part of a series that I was not the biggest fan of but I own the whole series so jokes on me but it's Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page and the second book is The Wicked Will Rise. I have discovered that I am not a fan of Daniel Page's writing. I read Stealing Snow. I gave it a one out of five stars I'm pretty sure. I think I gave this a two and this a three. So clearly I just do not enjoy it and that's fine hopefully someone else will. Next book is called Room by Lauren Oliver. This one kind of has a funny story. I thought it was a middle grade book. Um, it's definitely not because about 10 pages in there are two characters that just go at it hardcore and I was just like okay this is not for children <laughs> but I was not a fan of this. I think I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It follows like a haunted house and like ghosts in the house and I'm just not not a fan. Next book that I have is another one that I was sent duplicate copies of. It's Cursed by Frank Miller and Thomas Wheeler. I kind of got a little bent in my box of unhauled books. I'm supposed to give this to Victoria but I kind of feel bad now that it's bent so I'm gonna try to make it you know unbent but, but this is a retelling of King Arthur with King Arthur being a female so I think it sounds really good. It's also supposed to become a Netflix show soon 
so I think that it could be a really good time. Next one is another one that I'm supposed to give to Vic from Vic Shaz. I'll leave her link down below if you guys want to check her out. She's great. I really like her videos. She does a lot of like curvy girl confidence videos and I just think she's a grand old time. She also streams on Twitch so go check out her channel. She's great. But it's Songs from the Deep by Kelly Powell and this is like a Sirens book. But this is another one where I was sent two copies by the publisher so I figured if Vic wants to read them why not give her the chance? The next book is probably one of my most hated books ever. I hated it with a passion. It was so boring. It was so bad. Not a fan. Do not read it. It's Solving Cadence More by um, Gregory Sterner. It was so boring and sexist and racist and just not a good time so. And then the final book that I have is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter and the only reason I'm getting rid of this copy is because I got another copy from Indigo so it's a lot prettier and not bent as much as this one because this one the spine is broken and if you've been on this channel a while you know that I hate when my spines get broken. So I just have a prettier one on my shelf now so that's the only reason I'm getting rid of it because we all know that I love this series so... Yeah. Alright everybody, that was my unhaul video for this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!